evening ladies and gentlemen um i thought i'd do a quick video i'm gonna try and get these completely crystal clear um by taking the tints off and the red off i was gonna buy the red and clear ones um i'm speaking a little bit low because it's new year's eve and toys uh toys in there with a migraine uh, kids are playing computers so i thought i'd have a crack at the lights um i was going to start off with the completely clear and red ones of these um, but they were like 300 quid a set and a guy said oh you can have these I've got these to try so I'm about to bake them in the oven um, for 20 minutes to see if they'll come apart because they should split quite easily um, I have split lights before in the oven and it worked so I've got them and I've also got scent of varnish so the plan is if I can get these apart and I can get this red off get this um, you know tin off that would be handy. I don't know if the tint is actually a grey tinted perspex or if it's like an aftermarket tint which has been done from the inside. So it might be a complete waste of time, but we'll give it a go. I'll um I'll let you uh, I'll let you know how it gets on. Right, so 200 degrees. Let's warm it up. Ready for some baking. These ones obviously will go in this centre garnish and we we'll have to heat up with a heat gun, I think. Um, but yeah. Right, let's get baking. What an idiot. I've just been waiting five, ten minutes to try and warm the oven up and I've realised I had it on that as opposed to that. So, right, let's try that again. I'm not too sure what's best to split these with. Um, looking at this, I'm thinking I might just get like a hard squeegee. I saw Gage in America try and split these, the red and clear ones, um, and he done it with metal when he cut, he literally split right away down the length. So this is hence why I've got these battered up old ones from someone, because I don't want to spend 300 quid on lights and then find out I'm going to split them. But that kind of fits neatly in the groove there. So once they're heated up, I reckon, yeah, I mean, I could already get that part way in that lens. Ooh. I don't want to put nothing metal in there and pop it, so I'm thinking once that's warm, might be able to pull that out. Oh, <laughs> blimey, that wasn't uh, that wasn't a good sound, a good start. Anyway, all right. Oh, hello, run. Yeah, mate. So yeah, we'll see. You interested? What's going on, mate? Right, let's take this one for a tester. Yeah, all right, that's nice and warm. A bit of salt and pepper on it. <laughs> and, uh, let's put it in that way like that. Here we go. There we go, all right. 19 minutes. 200 degrees, 19 minutes, let's see. You watch this just melt into a pool of molten plastic. <laughs> you know, like, what are you doing, human? <laughs> all right. From what I've seen, the glue is all in this little channel here. So it's like right in the back channel. So if this doesn't work, if heating it in the oven doesn't work, then I'm going to probably get a heat gun. Go all the way along. Um, can you go away? Heat all the way along this ridge here and uh, yeah, try and separate it like that maybe. And I can give it a good push from the back through that hole and uh, do the other one with the heat gun on the back. So, right, more in a bit. 20 minutes once it's baked, I'll let you know. All right, well, we have semi success. The first one came out, but it got a little bit too hot and I melted a bottom bit of the light on the grill. So, um, I'm going to have to try and heat that out and warm that up. Um, and push that back down. The lens come out relatively good apart from the help again the bottom bit heated up too much so I'm going to heat that back see if I can get that back. A bit popped out um, the other one's in there on some uh, greaseproof paper. So yeah this one's sitting on some greaseproof paper so it's not sitting on the direct metal um, so yeah that's that's not too hot at the moment but this one was a little bit of a disaster but that's the plan to get them completely chrome but with a clear lens I mean, if these ones don't, if these ones don't actually sand down to a complete clear, what I might do is get some clear perspex, maybe, possibly, and try and cut that shape into it and bond them on. Um, but yeah, we'll see. 
right I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna keep an eye on that one because this one like I say look at the back it's melted it right around so I'm gonna have to heat that back and make good of it oh I should have kept a close eye on that what a pain in the ass anyway you live and learn hence why I've done it with three lights and not 300 pound lights well that's why we don't uh do it with expensive lights because the second one has slapped clean in half like that so on to my next plan of actually buying some clear covers and making something myself ah what a pain in the ass well so far <laughs> that is a monumental failure failure of the highest order um, right so now i've got to try and make some clear lenses <laughs> okay, so the next step to salvage it was a piece of wrap. Um, what I've done is I've cut it roughly to the shape of the light, putting it onto the curve so I know obviously it's exactly the shape of the light's going to be. And I will then transfer that to a piece of clear perspex or polycarb, something like that. Trim it out and hopefully once I give it a bit of heat, I should be able to heat it around, mold it in shape, chuck a bit of cold water on it, set it there, and then glue it on. So glue the polycarb straight to the clear, it should have the same effect as clearing these ones. Um, it's a shame because these have obviously got ridges in the back and they would look cool. But anyway, it's gone out, it's gone. I can't do nothing about it now. So and then I'll just use this template to flip it upside down for doing the other side. Um, that's the plan. So we'll see if it works out. In a couple of days I'll get a bit of polycarb and uh, we'll get back to the video and uh, I'll catch up with you in a few days. Alright, later. So I couldn't help myself do a bit more. So um, the middle panel, as you can see, has come off all intact. Um, it was easy with a heat gun. It's a real shame actually because if this was the clear and red, I would have been able to just use an isopropyl on this red um, and it takes it straight off. I tried it on the other lens. Um, but this is actually tinted plastic, which is a real shame. I tried rubbing it down just to see if it would go clear and it won't. So we would never have been able to use these anyway. Um, what I'm actually doing is on these, this is obviously the chrome center panel, which is going to be seen through most of the light. This is what's going to make it like the clear chrome that I want. Um, so, yeah, what I've done is I've wrapped the ends because um, all this was looking a bit grubby. So basically I've wrapped the ends with chrome, wrapped basically uh, that's chrome that's chrome these two little bits here are chrome um, as you can see this middle bit I haven't done and it's really scratched and smudgy so um, I'm gonna lay an infill in that and then yeah that'll be ready for me to cut this piece I, I can use this as a template cut that in like um, a prismatic panel uh, but flip it do the do the little triangle pieces I don't know if you know like a lighting panel like a lighting sheet almost um, over this uh, which will give it a really nice effect, hopefully. And then what I'll do is around these edges, I'll put a bit, little bit of vinyl, black vinyl trim, so it goes all the way around, so it looks like it's a factory option. So yeah, it should be should be a pretty cool project. But um, yeah, more in a bit. pretty cool when it's all done well as you can see that's the center part fully rewrapped um, so there's no flaky bits now there's no black bits on there so it's still got a few more greasy fingerprints on there but yeah that's gonna look way way better um, I mean it is super mirror now so um, 
that should look really cool with the reflectors on. It also means like, now you've got that base there, you could do a design, you could run a design through this, you could do anything because obviously the prismatic panel is going to be quite close. Um, so you will see the full chrome plus whatever colour. So if I wanted to run, I know, say I was having a full chrome rear lights and I had a black car, I could run some black flames behind here. I could run some sort of design on it to match a livery, flowers, broken hearts, you know, anything like that behind it. So yeah, that should hopefully look pretty cool. But yeah, we'll see. Only time will tell. Right, in a bit. So the back one turned out really nice with a chrome wrap. So what I've done is I've done all new panels, all the little bits that were looking a bit rubbish inside here. I've done like the top parts here, this bit, that bit, the back bit. So yeah, they're ready for the clear lenses now. So I'll find somewhere open, maybe tomorrow. Monday's a bank holiday, I think. But um, yeah, we'll have a look next week, cut some, uh, cut some diffusers and then we'll go from there. Should look pretty cool. Okay, so time has come to start cutting this stuff out. Um, I've had to, I had a bit of a bigger wheel, so I've had to take the actual guard off, which is not the most sensible thing to do. So don't try this at home. That's hence why I've got half a thumb, because I do stupid stuff like this. So um, yeah, we'll give this a cut out. I'll give you a, I'll give you a bit of an update, let you know how we're going halfway through, see if it's gonna absolutely shatter to, into a million pieces or if it's actually gonna be all right. Cut nice and neat, no shattering or anything like that. So yeah, a bit of clean up on the edges, but yeah, it should be pretty cool. Um, yeah, we'll see what it looks like. We'll take the vinyl off and uh, offer up to light, see how it fits. Plastic all over my beard. Um, yeah, we'll see how it fits and we'll uh, hopefully, I reckon it's gonna look pretty good. God, these are gonna look absolutely immense. I've got to say, I've just tried folding them around. They fit perfect. Um, it's hard to kind of hold it and show you, but if I, uh, Fits dead in the corner like that, so they're gonna look absolutely amazing once they're all bent round. It's gonna be incredible, can't wait. I just used a bit of gaffer just to hold it in place roughly, um, but yeah, you get the idea. It'd be super, super cool actually, because the thing is, with tail lights like this, you know, as soon as I smash a, a lens off, a rear lens on a wall or something, I can literally just cut a new piece, put it in and mold it back in again. So it's gonna be super easy to do. Um, obviously it's not glued in place, but you see how well they fit. It's gonna look incredible. Yeah, well happy with that. I'm happy we took the red reflectors out as well, because my plan is I'm gonna get some LED. I'm gonna get LED bulbs so you don't see any of the light bulbs through it, like an orange or a red, so you can get obviously the white LEDs, but just the ends glow up a different color. So yeah, they are gonna be Super hot on a glitter silver car should be pretty cool. Well, I think we're winning. Um, apart from me being covered in tiger seal, um, I wasn't too sure which way to go about this to be honest with you. I mean, I, they are gonna look absolutely sick when they're done. Um, so all these edges I've put a bit of tiger seal on, taped them, zip tied them to hopefully keep them tight while they're drying. Um, and then obviously the glue spreads out a little bit into the lens. Um, what I've done is I've covered these lenses with like a clear application tape before I've glued them So any like glue that goes on the face I can just peel the lens off and then it's going to leave the nice clears 
Um, but then after we've done that, what I'm going to do, I'm cut these off tomorrow once they're actually set in place because I've only done tacks of uh, glue around it. I haven't gone all the way around the edge, so I'm just trying to get them glued in place so they don't come off. So once we cut them off tomorrow, should be able to run another bead along, let them set again, and then take all the face coverings off, and then I'm going to run a very thin, like a like a 10 mil strip of black all the way around the edge of these lights in matte black, so it looks factory. So they should look pretty damn cool. I mean, they're, they've come out way, way, way cooler than I thought they was going to come out. So that's a good thing. The other thing, if I didn't like the complete clears, I can always just tint these red. So I get a full tinted red. Um, but yeah, we'll see. See how it goes. Anyhow, leaving them to dry and I'll, uh, I'll do a video once I've taken all the bits off tomorrow. Well, we had some sort of success. I mean, on this bit here, um, there's a little bit of excess glue that I've got to trim off. But yeah, these these look really good. These are looking super, super cool. Um, I did have one casualty, this one. Um, I'd just come back. It was all like that. It was all absolutely fine. And all of a sudden, I'd come back and it snapped. So whether this is under too much pressure, um, this one seems absolutely fine. I've heated it up with a heat gun and nothing's happened to it. But this one, I've had to recut again. So I've... Um, kept the uh, vinyl on the front. I'm gonna heat it up quite a bit more and then obviously heat it round. So I think I think maybe I didn't heat it enough to get that bend out of it and it's just too much and snap. So yeah, I have to do this one again, which is an absolute pain in the ass because they were pretty much 90% done. But if they can stay like that, I mean, I've still got to obviously put all the black edging around it. I've got to trim all the glue up, the excess glue off the edge and put the black trim. But yeah, it should look pretty cool. I mean, they are looking good. Um, they're super clear, so yeah, kind of winning, kind of not. I'm just, uh, I'm just dreading coming back later and this one being cracked. If it is, I'm just going to angle grind it down and just do a joiner piece so it looks like there's a separate joining the way through that because um, I can't keep cutting them. So yeah, fingers crossed it will hold together right. Right, so I think that will be better because it's instantly now got a curve which you stand to. Um, it's not obviously bang on that curve there, but it's it's better. So we're halfway winning. I think if now, now if I kind of glue that in, it's going to take most of the tension out that was there. I might be wrong. It might just snap again, but <laughs> we'll see. All right, I'm going to glue this in and uh, yeah, hopefully we have a finished light like that one. Sweet. Right, so we're finished. We're pretty much there. Um, they kind of went okay. They, 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 I mean, they look fine. I'm, I've got the other one over there in the house at the moment, sort of gluing up because um, that's the one that broke. But the rest are the rest are pretty, yeah, pretty much there. So, yeah, looks good. I reckon they'll look good on the car. But I'll say the plan is, if they don't look any good, then I'm just going to tint them red, and uh, yeah, go from there. So. I think we won on that one. Um, I've left them in here overnight because I thought it gets cold in here overnight because obviously it's just an old barn effectively. So it gets like minus bloody three in here. So um, if it's going to crack, it's going to crack tonight. So I'd rather them do it. If it does crack, I'll probably have to change. Um, I'll probably have to change it up and maybe do some like plexiglass, something like that. Um, I'm not quite sure. Um, it needs to be like two, three mil stuff to get around that curve. Um, this is obviously lighting diffuser panel. I, I wanted the diffuser panel because it's got like the, you know, like the texture in it, so it, it muffles all of that chrome behind. So I think they look really red. Um, but if not, I'll probably have to uh, get plexiglass, tint it from behind. Maybe do like a frosted tint, or um, or even just like a coloured tint. You know, if I was going to paint the car blue, I could do a blue tint or so. I'm not sure yet. I don't know. We'll see. But I'll uh, I'll leave the video there for for today, guys, and then we'll catch up later. The cars the cars coming out from Steve's. Um, Gemini Auto Works in the next few weeks, so that's all going to have the RB20 put in it. Um, it should be pretty rad. I'm, I'm super, super excited. Toys is coming on. So, yeah, Toys 14. We're still not sure if to change the front yet. We might change the front to a kooky front bumper because obviously it's got Navan skirts on it. Um, Navan rear bumper. I've also got the 
D-Max roof spoiler up there to go on it. So yeah, it should be pretty cool. She's got uh, she's got all the Blitz front mount, Blitz nurse, the car exhaust to go on. So yeah, this thing's looking rad. Um, it's got now, it's got on it, CS2's on it. It's got CS2 coilovers all around. So yeah, it's uh, super, super sick, that car. I love a simple style street car, which is like completely what mine's not gonna be. So um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm excited about this one to be done. But yeah, anyway, enough of me rambling on. Appreciate it guys, get on the website, you can buy all this cool stuff, all the Naboris, not them ones at the back, they're my personal ones, but you can buy all our new stock we get from Japan, comes up weekly, so yeah, check the, uh, check the website out, violent-d.com, and yeah, get over, see what we're up to, nice one, latest.